Hello, today I'm going to be talking about using power stations and solar panels in the UK and is it worth it? And I'm going to talk about if it's worth it financially. I've invested quite a lot of time and effort and money into it, so I think it is worth it, but I'm going to talk about if it's worth it financially. So I've got this pen because I'm going to be doing some maths and some drawing a little bit later. I just want to talk about this power bank. So this is a power bank. You can see here it's got 17% charge and from it I can run AC, I can use um, USB outputs and I can output to DC as well. And this one has USB-C on it as well. Obviously these are designed for outdoors and camping. So you've got um, lights that flash in an emergency. We've got flashing lights, etc. Now the key thing is it's got this input here. So I could plug it into the wall or I could plug it into a solar panel. And today I'm gonna to talk about solar panels. So this is about hundred pounds on Amazon. There are different ones that you can get at different prices and they cost different amounts at different times. I'm putting this to one side. Being eco-friendly, I'm gonna use an Amazon box here. So we've got our solar panel. That's, that's my solar panel. We've got wires that come off the solar panel and it's gonna plug into the power station. So solar panel, power station. Now the solar panel I have costs around 100 pounds and this costs around 100 pounds. You can get different versions and I've seen different versions that are pretty much the same as cheap as 50 pounds. So there's quite a difference and essentially they've got the same capacity. If I bring this back, we can see on here it says it's capacity of 99 watt hours. I'm going to round that up to 100 watt hours. And we're going to talk about what a watt hour is. And a watt hour is, well, let's talk about 100 watt hours. 100 watt hours is running something for 100 watts for one hour or anything in between. So we could run something that's 50 watts or run a device that takes 50 watts of power for two hours so on and so forth. If I charge this up to full, if I charge it up to 100%, theoretically, I've got 100 watt hours in there. However, what I found is actually you don't get that. If you're using AC, you get around 67% efficiency. And if you're using DC, and that can be USB or the DC output, then you're getting around 85% efficiency. Now, in order to make this financial sense, you're going to want to use this with your devices and they're gonna be the higher drain devices. You're not gonna be charging your phone. You're not gonna make any money back charging your phone. Trust me on that. When you charge your phone, it maybe uses 15 watts, if that's over USB. You want to be using it with higher drain devices. Let's get rid of this. So what I do is, when I'm at work and I work from home, I have a two monitor set up and one monitor here uses 20 watts and the other one uses 32 watts. And I've got my laptop PC over here. And what I do, I plug the laptop PC into AC power. I plug this lower watt monitor into a power station and I plug this one into a power station as well. And from quite a lot of the day, I can power this just off the power station, particularly if it's been charged up in terms of solar energy. This one, it obviously runs down much quicker. And this one, for some reason, it needs a high, it, I think it has, when it starts, it spikes and then goes down. So some of my power stations won't work with this because of that high spike when you first turn it on and some will. So that's another thing to consider. If that's a really high spike and it goes well above the voltage capabilities of the power station, it's not really gonna work or the power station may think something's wrong and may turn itself off. This 100 watts hour power station, we're actually gonna say using on AC, we're gonna say it's got 67 watt hours because it's not as efficient as the manufacturer claims. So we're gonna say 67 watt hours. Now in the UK, what does what do things cost? So I'm in April at the moment, I have economy seven. Now economy seven in the day, 
it costs 47.9 pence per unit. And what is a unit? A unit is one kilowatt hour. So it's one kilowatt one run for one hour. So this isn't a kilowatt. This isn't a kilowatt. This actually is 0.02 kilowatts. So to use a unit of electricity, 47 pence, I'd have to run this for 50 hours and that would cost me 47 pence in a day. Because I'm on economy seven, I have two rates. I have night rate and night rate costs 16.09 pence. Now for people who don't have economy seven, at the time of recording, I'm gonna call it normal rate. It's 35.06 pence per kilowatt hour. Let's get rid of this. So I get to use my uh, monitor, which I'm saying is around 20 watts and I get to use it for a certain amount of time because it is powered off my 67 watt hour power station. If I were to use 67 watt hours from the mains, what would that cost me? So first of all, we need to convert watt hours into kilowatt hours. So what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna divide by 1000. So that's gonna be 67 divided by 1000 which is going to be 0 0.067. So that's how many units it would cost me in terms of running this monitor for the same amount of time that this is gonna be running for. I could say, yeah, 20 watts, 67 watt hours, it's approximately gonna give three hours runtime. So for three hours, it would cost me that in terms of units, but let's now multiply that by what it's gonna cost someone in the UK. And I'm gonna go for the average person in the UK and I'm gonna use the normal rate, which is 35.06 pence. So I'm gonna convert that into pounds. So it's gonna be 0.3506. That's the cost in pounds of one unit, times it by 0.67, the number of units. And that is going to come out as, in pounds, 0.0231396. So that there is two pence. So by charging this up to 100% using solar power, I save two pence. That's what I save. Now that's using it for three hours. So let's say I go through my work day, I've got two of them maybe, or I manage to charge it up again over lunchtime. So I might say four pence a day. Now you might think four pence, that, that's not really much. Two pence, that's not really much. And yes, you'd be right. But let's look at what happens if we do this a thousand times. So this number here, I'm gonna start multiplying by a thousand. So if I charge the power station with a solar panel a thousand times up to a hundred percent, that is going to give me a saving of 23 pounds, 14 pence, if I do it a thousand times. Now, I don't know whether this is gonna last a thousand times. The manufacturer says it will, but I, I could drop it, I could break it, it could get damaged, it could just stop working. So it cost me a hundred pounds, and I'm gonna save 23 pounds, or the average person is gonna save 23 pounds. That's not excluding the cost of the solar panel as well, which we need to factor in. So if we do 2000 charges, that's gonna be 46.28 pounds. 3000 charges is gonna save us 69.42. So it's starting to look better, provided it lasts for 3000 charges. So it's not from a brand I recognize. Is it gonna last for 3000 charges? I don't know. So let's say that I use, because I'm on economy seven in the day. So that's gonna be more expensive. So what would it cost economy seven in the day? So this 23 pounds becomes 31.61. This 46 becomes 63.22. And this 3000 becomes 94.84. So even at the very expensive electricity price, I haven't made money you could argue that I've lost money. Now, if I manage to get my power station for 50 pounds and I can charge it 3,000 times, then yes, I've made money. That's not including the solar panel, which cost 100 pounds. I actually don't think financially 
it makes sense. It makes sense if you're off grid, it makes sense if you don't have continuous access to electricity, but on a purely financial basis, it doesn't save you anything. Even at a time when electricity is a record cost in the UK. So if the cost of electricity went higher and it stayed higher for 3000 charges, then potentially I could start um, you know, making some money off my investment. I didn't do it as a way to make money. I did it because I have an outhouse that I use for YouTube filming and I don't want to put electricity in there. It's too much of a hassle. So I got these power stations and I got, I got solar panels to charge them up. So for me, it made sense to do it. But if you are doing it on a purely financial basis, I don't think you're going to make your money back. And don't forget, we are assuming at least 3000 charges to get anywhere near your investment on the higher tariff rates, which not everyone is going to have. If you are thinking of getting solar panels and power stations, then I don't think financially it's a good move. However, ecologically, I think it's a good move. If you're an off-gridder or you regularly go away to somewhere where there isn't electricity and you need electricity, then I think it is a good move. Let me know what you think about this. Has the format been useful? Have I answered your questions? And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, goodbye.